the head of the department, my advisor, Stan Hall, said, hey, I'm going to go to the computer center to write a program on the computer. Um, why don't you come? I said, sure. I said, what is a computer? <laughs> and what is, in, in those days, a computer could mean somebody who computes. Everybody had to explain what they did to the whole group. So if I did very well, by in two months, they could all implement what I did. Right. <laughs> it was a very effective loop on a research progress in some sense. What we need to teach people is learning to learn and learning to think and learning to live. None of those are there in any curriculum anywhere in the world. We wanted to do uh, lights out manufacturing, a fully autonomous factory, or at least a cell. And we wanted to have autonomous vehicles, autonomous sea vehicles, land vehicles, and air vehicles. I see. And uh, the current cars that drive themselves came out of that idea. The drones came out of that idea. First thing you need to understand is, all of this comes from the basic idea that computers can do what human beings can do. If a, a human being can drive a car, a computer should be able to drive a car. If a human being can you know, you know, navigate a plane, a computer should be able to do that. Then the question is, what does that mean? So very quickly, it was clear, it took us 20 years to learn that, mm -hmm. uh, that we needed systems that can learn from experience. The, the concept of a, an AI has never been about human replacement. It's about augmenting human capabilities, enhancing the mental capabilities. Anything you do with your, with your brain, with your mind, computers can help you do it better, faster, cheaper. So you can do it 10 times faster. You may be able to do it a million times faster sometimes, like multiplication, things like that. But it, it's all that it's doing is relieving you of that burden.